Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman. I'm the director and founder of Goldman & Associates. Our firm has a primary focus on family law. Please subscribe to our channel. Um, one of the questions and one of the issues that we deal with is grounds for termination of parental rights. Understand that in a normal situation, one parent doesn't have a right to file a motion and ask the court to terminate the other parent's parental rights. I mean, you can ask for a suspension of parenting time. You can ask for, um, a, you know, a deviation uh, that a certain things should be withheld until such time as uh, the other side shows that they've taken parenting classes or that they're drug-free, those kind of things. But that's different than, you know, revoking or terminating someone's rights altogether. When we talk about re revoking someone's parental rights or terminating someone's parental rights, we're talking about that legally this person's no longer the mom, this person's no longer the father. And that will typically be done not by one parent to the other, but by the state. The state will, will um, uh, through the um, uh, various governmental departments, they will typically open up a CPS case based on abuse or neglect. And it's, it's the um, uh, state that has the right to bring forth charges of abuse and neglect and ask that parental rights be terminated as a result. And the court will do that, but the court doesn't do it willy-nilly. The court takes this very, very seriously. So just because there's a CPS case open doesn't mean that there is necessarily going to be a termination of rights. And just because um, there is a, a finding of an open case where they find neglect, even that doesn't necessarily mean the rights will be terminated. Um, the goal of, of these kind of proceedings is to put the parents back on track and to reunite them with the kids and so that they should be appropriate role models. The goal is not necessarily to tear apart the family. Having said that, when you have somebody who, for example, has lost parental rights of one child, and then uh, they get pregnant and give birth to a kid who's already addicted to drugs because during the pregnancy they were on cocaine. That's somebody for whom termination of parental rights is probably going to be swift because the court's not going to take a chance on the health of that child. So these are, there's a big spectrum, obviously, of what is done in the way of preserving parental rights and what kind of activity on the other side of the spectrum causes a total termination or revocation of parental rights. Uh, if you have any questions about that, of course, reach out. We'll be glad to help you out.